Oh. All right. Good morning, everyone. Jason DePaula here from the Edge Strength and Conditioning. It is now just coming up to seven o'clock. Turn this on. Um, yeah, and I'm off to one of my first clients of the day. It's a lovely July, June, I mean, uh, sunny day, and I'm off up to see one of my first clients do some outside training. Uh, so on this little video blog, I want to do, because I'm in the truck and I thought I'd do this before, um, for the start of the day before I start training people, is I uh, talk about um, exercises that I've been seeing on online training and on social media and stuff. Now, yeah, I get it, you know, you know, we've all can't go to the gym. I've just heard that the other day that we can't, the gyms are not going to be open probably until, I don't know, the end of July, maybe August, if everything goes well. So more and more people are going to be training at home, training online training, training outside. And, that's, and if you're going to be doing that, what you're going to be doing, you're just going to be doing body weight stuff most people um, haven't got access to what I've got like kettlebells and plates and all the bits and pieces that I've got like landmines and stuff now if you want well I'll do a little bit of advertisement here if you want any outside training especially in the exit area especially in this nice weather just just message me like, I can go outside training it doesn't need to be a big place I can bring all my equipment and I can devise a really good workout program for you um, anywhere but what I'm seeing in videos is Lots of people doing squats, push-ups, running, you know, I've said this before, which is all great, all fine well, because you can't really do anything else, but, you know, after time, it's gonna sort of have imbalances, and you're gonna have niggles with it. Also, people are doing lots of stupid exercises. Now, I can understand, you know, personal trainers and fitness influencers on YouTube and, and you know, social media, they wanna look like they've, they're the next big thing, and so, they're putting out lots of uh, exercises of, I, I, I can't describe it, lots of high intensity like jumps, um, um, push throughs. Um, one thing I'm seeing at the moment is plank taps. You know, you're in a plank position, high plank or low plank, and you ha tap uh, the shoulder with your hand, which is all really, really good. It's so good, but the thing is, it's not really doing much for your core. Um, I would prefer people actually lifting um, one foot up off the floor and get some, um, glute adduction so that's actually going to be connected more to your core and then if you can do the opposite hand so you sort of only on one hand one foot that's going to do a lot more for your core than these quick plank taps that I keep seeing um, also it's like another one I keep mentioning with people burpees you know I see people I know you know this is the only really thing you can do but there are a lot more better exercises than doing burpees now as I say, if you're fit enough and you're, you're young enough, if you're in the mid, you know, early 20s and you're you're fit, yeah, you can do that. But like people in when they get into the 30s, 40s, you know, age starts creeping up on them. You know, you get little niggles. You can't do all these burpees all the time, 10, 15, 20, whatever burpees. I don't do burpees now. I've researched it. I used to do it in the past, but as I've grown and learned a lot more in the last 18 years I've been doing personal training and it is about 18 years after I finished my ski instruction um, courses and did that it's been about 18 years so I've learned and I've done lots of courses and I'll you know I've done videos on this before but I've learned our burpees uh, for most people it's not a very good exercise to do there are better things to do than burpees you know things that I do I I will cut down the burpee into its component form. So I would do a, um, a a jumping jack, say, and then I will go down and maybe then do a push up, and then afterwards I would do uh, mountain climbers. Now you know you do 20 seconds of each, and that, and that's going to do just as well as doing a burpee. You know, just as a warm up. So things like that. So I'm just seeing people doing all these complicated. Um, exercises that most people and you know they're going to do because this, they've got nothing else to do there's no gyms around so they're going to try but if you're going to keep doing it you could have injuries and if you're going to do it and you haven't got a competent PT looking at you and check your technique you could actually do and be doing more damage to your muscles and uh, your, your 
ligament, tendons than you know more than anything else. And then when you get back to the gym, you know you're going to start thinking, oh, well, I'm still fit. And then you know probably find out that you might have picked up a niggle or something here and there. So things like that. So it's like, um, I'm just seeing lots and lots of just sort of you know exercises that you really should be doing. But then again, I do get it that. There's nothing else you can really do if you only got body weight stuff. You know, push-ups are great because if there's a chest movement, there's a horizontal reduction and stuff. But you know, there is other things to do. But you know, um, you're just going to find the equipment to do it. So there we go. That's my quick little um, video blog. I don't want to go on too long because my last blog went on a bit too much. Um, I'm off to my new client now. The sun's in my eyes. I'm going to put the sunglasses on. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this. So um, please check out my website and my YouTube channel. Also, I'll put a link somewhere to my Instagram feed because I've got a lot more stuff on Instagram than I do put on YouTube. So please check that out. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you on another video coming real soon. Cheers.